Um, we have this other topic, badass shit. What's the what's some badass shit that you bought that secretly in the back of your mind you know you're not badass enough to own? All right. For me, it's a Gibson Les Paul. All right, badass shit I told my friend not to buy. Dear Billy Gibson, in college, there was a guy who played guitar in my hallway. I play guitar too, so I had some insight into my insight into my advice to him when he said he was going to buy a double neck SG. Don't get me wrong. I wanted him to get it so I could play it occasionally, but I knew it was a horrible purchase. He was a pretty good guitar player. He didn't suck, but he wasn't pushing virtuoso status and wasn't about to change the game with the double neck. I told him, in my opinion, it's a performance guitar and really not fun to play in your room and suggested he just get a 12 string. Uh, In the end, he got it and it was a bust. He played it at one open mic show and it was kind of out of tune, brutal. I played it a bit and it was cool. Uh, he had fun with it too, but mostly anytime I saw it in his room, it was collecting dust because it's not fun to play sitting down. He sold it at the end of the year, but didn't make, but didn't take much of a loss. Eh, you know what? But he can say he owned one, you know, and he, he played it. And you got to play it too. So that's not too bad. I, I had a 70 or a 71 green sparkle Ludwig kit, all Bonham sizes with a Ludwig Speed King. I did the whole Bonham thing and, uh, you know, I played it live at the fucking Roxy. I had a fucking blast, but like, I mean, it, the kit just wasn't me and I just ended up, I had the, the Bonham cymbals, the whole fucking setup and I just sold the whole thing and it was the best thing I ever did for my drumming because I was really just going down a route of like just being yet another ripoff, you know, of John Bonham. John Bonham didn't go out and fucking... You know, start fucking, oh, this guy played this. Well, I mean, I guess everybody played Ludwig back in the day, but he got the kit that was right for him. Um, That's what you have to do. But having said that, it was fun to own the thing. And, uh, you know, having a double neck guitar is pretty cool. I'm immediately picturing the Jimmy Page one. I always thought that that was sick. And then there's a guy from Cheap Trick where he he had the most I ever saw because then there was the triple guitar and then there was four and he had like a five or a six. It was insane. Like it started at like his chest and went all the way down to his knees. Um, but anyway, yeah, you probably gave him good advice. But everyone, you're young, you got to do something dumb. Like buy an old muscle car that needs a lot of fucking work just to say you had one and you don't have the money to fix it up. No one in the back of your head that it's going to break down when you really need it. But, you know, just to do it, I say do it. All right. And that's it, everybody. Um, next Monday, we go back to the hour long Monday morning podcast. Hopefully I'll have figured out my uh, interface with my computer and all of that shit so I don't have to keep recording them on my phone. Um, I am so fucking excited uh, that this movie is going to be wrapped and I can start putting it together because the performances in this movie, um, I think, you know, are going to be great. I don't want to talk too much shit, but I think I got a really good, a really good um, movie. Well, so we shall see. So that is it. Uh, Enjoy the game tonight. Uh, between Kansas and uh, North Carolina. That is all, and I will uh, check in on you guys on Thursday. Okay.